So there was one beautiful bhakti true that appeared in Navadvip and Yogapit, and it's still there. And then, then that was moved, and it's also in Puri. There's a bhakti lata prema maraturu in Jagannath Puri, and there's a prema taru lata, or it's not a lata. There's a yeah taru in Vrindavan. So if one does bhajan, sadhana bhajan in Vrindavan or Vipralamba Shetra Sri Purakshotam Shetra Vipralamba Vipralamba Shetra Sri Puridam or he does sadhana bhajan in Mayapur Yoga Pit or Navadri he will attain very very quickly jaldi jaldi fatafat Krishna Prem Prapti this is the guarantee of the acharyas this is the guarantee of the shastra so much power, so much shakti, bhakti shakti prabhav, bhakti shakti prabhav in the dham. Some people have experienced it by living there. So the shastras are telling Panchanga Bhakti, Panchanga Bhakti, okay, there's unlimited ways to serve Krishna, there's unlimited ways to love him. Navabhita Bhakti, they're summarized in nine forms, and each one of those nine forms has unlimited branches. Ananta Seva, Ananta Bhagavan. But Garanga Mahaprabhu is telling, and his Acharya are telling, there is, of these unlimited numbers, there's Panchanga Bhakti. These five are so much bal, so much bala, so much power. Any one of these limbs, these angas, bhakti anga, only one, you absorb yourself and one, you'll attain prema. Krishna prema, guaranteed. Nam sankirtan, matura mandala vas, braja vas, living in braja, living in Vrindavan or holy dham. Bhagavat Shravan, hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavat Shravan Rasika Bhakta Sahasanga. Hearing a Bhagavatam, an association of a Rasik Vaishnav. It gives Ras. Because it's a Rasa Shastra. If we hear the Bhagavatam in the association of a non Rasik Vaishnav, it gives Bhakti. It gives Shud, purification. But ras is something that's produced by a combination of different bhavas. Comes bhakti ras. There can be bhakti, but without something has to be added to it to make it bhakti ras. What has to be added? Bhav. Stahi bhav. Anubhav. Sattvic bhav. Then they combine together and make ras. Bhakti alone is not ras. That's why, but that's rare. <laughs> Where to find a Rasik Vaishnav? Impossible. Very difficult. And then, what is the other? That, that was four. I think that's four. Then the fourth one, the fifth one, the Panchanga Bhakti is Saru Sangha. Saru Sangha means love the devotees. If you're going to, if you have the capacity, if you have the ability or the notion, or the interest to love anyone, which is very rare in this world. <laughs> no one has even the ability to love, or to speak of the idea. Everyone is simply e exploiting unit, dedicated to me. But if by chance we are of that nature, then our love, our propensity to love, to honor, to serve, to respect, should be singularly, singularly and solely directed to the Vaishnavas. Vaishnav Seva, Jiva Dhoya, Nam Ruchi Prapti. This is, a, this is the Krama, Sarana Krama, the sequence. Show compassion to the Jivas, Jiva Dhoya. Where does that compassion start? It starts with this jiva. <laughs> Number one, numero uno. Show compassion to yourself. Atma, karuna. 
atmas atma anokam anokam jivadaya show compassion to yourself stop killing yourself atmaha atmaha we're killing ourselves by indriya priti love for sense gratification we're killing ourselves by illusion and false pursuits of temporary happiness the atma is dead the atma is sleeping so first direct compassion towards ourselves search for liberation who is god who am i underneath underneath it all underneath all the coverings and sheaths and protective layers of ego and hunkar and identity and falseness that covers me and surrounds me if i strip it away and peel it back and cut it off can i find the real me the the jiva sar the essence of my life is it sex is it eating is it sleeping fighting defending establishing lording over this is the essence of the jiva no this is the illusory covering maya that which is not ma na maya this is bhakti then if that compassion of what arises in ourselves if we're really selfish if we're really selfish it doesn't mean we're egoistic it doesn't mean we're we're exploit every use everyone for our own purposes if we're really selfish we'll discover the self selfish this is a english word selfish i only care about me but if you look at this word like a hindi word or sanskrit selfish selfish ish means lord ishvara parama krishna parama ishvara selfish ish means lord or controller so if we're really self if we're really selfish we will try to find the controller and the lord of our selves you follow It's a little trick on the word this is the search for me who am i who is god is we do we have a sambandha do we have a relationship so from this tree of love of godhead now we heard that the tree went from navadvip to jagannathpuri went to vrindavan then where did the tree go now is described by krishna's kaviraj our mahajana charya now that tree that desire tree bhakti taru has surrounded the entire world this is right from the book i'm just mimicking or repeating what we read now that this desire tree this prema mara taru is surrounding the entire world and because this tree is not a barren tree it is not barren or infertile it is full of leaves beautiful verdant green shimmering soothing leaves and it's full of beautiful flowers and beautiful fruits prem phal radha govinda prem phal this tree is spread everywhere and the worshipers of goranga they are distributing these fruits of love of god to everyone because the tree is there if i have a big mango tree in mayapur if there's anybody here from bengal we have mango uh, what do you say am um, we have mango trees in our jagannath mandir and i was staying there some time years ago in this part of mayapur and there was mango season very good time to be there <laughs> and the trees were producing mangoes like anything like anything jada production i inquired being a quiz inquisitive person i said my dear mali malakara this tree has so many fruits i can't count them how many trees will this tree produce this season he said oh this one this is a moti moti wala 
This is a very big one. This tree will produce 5,000 mangoes. One tree. Bhagavan Sri Krishna Vibhuti Shakti Ki. This is power. And this one is Torah Kamjur. Ye Taru Torah Kamjur. Only 3,000. Three, one tree, 3,000 fruits. If I have a tree like that in my yard, can I eat 5,000 mangoes? I want to. I really want to, but I really can't accommodate. I can't digest. So I have to distribute them. Therefore, these Prem Taru, this Krishna Prem Taru, these trees are everywhere. They're all around the world. And who has these trees? Because you may have a yard. You have some house and some good bungalow. In GK1, you have a nice yard, some nice champak trees and gulab. And the Hare Krishna devotees, they sneak in there in the morning. They steal your flowers. They steal the flowers from your trees and they bring it to Bhagavan and make a mala. Because you have nice flowers. Or you may have a mango tree. So when you're sleeping, then the devotees will sneak in there in the bath of Makanchur. In the bath, in the bath of Makanchur. They will come there at 5 o'clock in the morning when you're sleeping, like Krishna would steal yogurt. Look at these mangoes. Are Bod bariya hai. Bod ras hai. Bod ek paka. Ek tam paka hai. Come on, suckers. Let's rip them off. Let's steal them. So then I'm sure. I'm sure Bhagavan ki. Because Mahabharu used to steal mangoes also. Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Gokul made. He was dahi chor. Dai chor, makan chor, stealing yogurt and butter. Now, when Krishna became Goranga in Mayapur, he's stealing mangoes. But evil. You have this tree, it's full of mangoes. So if you have a little bit of compassion, you'll start distributing to the other people. Hey, ow, 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 sablo, ow. Lao, am lao, am lao, am lao. Sablo, ow. Prem la, prem am lao. Is that right? Everybody come here and take the fruit. So the questions remaining. I asked, who has these trees full of mangoes, full of prema in their backyard? Is it in GK1 in a big, big bungalow or in wherever the big houses are, farmhouses? No. Vancha kalpa trubias cha kripa sindhu bhaiva cha patitanam bhavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha Vancha kalpa, this kalpa true, this prema true, bhakti true is in the yard of the devotees. They don't have to go steal flowers. They don't have to steal anyone's flowers. Each Vaishnava is a Kalpa Taru, a Bhakti Taru, a desire tree of love of Godhead. If we want to eat those fruits of Krishna Prema, these trees are everywhere. You might say, I can say, everywhere in Delhi there are mango trees. And there must be here and there. But have you seen one? No. Have you stolen a mango from any Delhi mango tree? Maybe not. But do you believe they may exist? Is it possible? Yes. Is it logical? There could be some mango trees growing in Delhi. Do you all agree? Yes. So in the same way, we have never seen a walking tree of Prema. We have never seen a Vaishnava. So, but we, we believe we have the faith as we believe in the existence of a mango tree in Delhi in somebody's yard somewhere. We have the Shraddha or Vishwas belief that in Delhi or in this world there are so many Premi Bhaktas. So many Premi Bhaktas walking here and there and they're distributing all these mangoes, all these fruits of love of God and take it, take it. 